We have two surfaces and they change the angle in between. When we use the rolling ball, we get this. In fact, in here, you have a proper circular section and this has exactly the radius you, you set up. This is the way the milling machine works. The drill moves along the edges and it makes the fillet. Because the radius is constant, the portion of the surface is different. To get the same circle B tangent to the two sections, I have a smaller arc here, wider arc there. So this is the rolling ball meter. It keeps the radius by changing the arc. But this is not the only way. Another solution could be to not keep the radius, but to keep the arc. So this is called distance between rail. And as if you see, it's much better. Why? Because it keeps this distance, not the radius. And because it keeps the distance, the fillet looks constant. It's not constant, but it looks like. What Rhino does is to first cut the surface and then do the radius. In fact, it keeps this. This distance is constant. Then you have a third option. The principle is the same. The uh, result is a little bit different. And it looks this way. With distance between edges, what you insert is the distance from the vertex to the rail. And this is distance from edges and it keeps the distance from the edge so now wait because it could be really useful in this case the fillet it's able to come straight like the original edges okay the other two they are curved in this case the, the dimension you put it's twice it looks bigger 